On November 6, 2025, the UK Ministry of Defense officially announced that the Ajax Armored Fighting Vehicle had reached Initial Operating Capability IOC. This means the first Ajax Squadron is ready for deployment, marking the first new armored vehicle to enter service with the British Army in nearly 30 years. The announcement was made by Defense Secretary Luke Pollard at the General Dynamics Factory in Merthyr Tydfil, South Wales, where thousands of British workers are involved in the production of this advanced vehicle. The Ajax is no ordinary armored vehicle. This is a family of combat vehicles based on a common platform designed to replace the aging fleet of Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance Tract, or CVRT vehicles, which have been in service for over 50 years since entering service in 1971. The total order is for 589 vehicles in six different variants. Ajax, main reconnaissance vehicle with 40 mm cannon, Ares, troop carrier, Athena, command vehicle, Argus, engineering reconnaissance vehicle, Apollo, repair vehicle, and Atlas, restoration vehicle. Each Ajax is priced at approximately 10 million pounds, approximately RP 200 billion, with a total program cost of 6.3 billion pounds. The Ajax program originated from the Future Rapid Effects System, FRES, in the 1990s, which aimed to replace CBRT vehicles such as the Scimitar and Spartan. A 5.5 billion pounds contract was awarded to General Dynamics UK in 2014, with first deliveries scheduled for 2017 and initial operational capability in 2019. However, the project was delayed for eight years due to various technical issues. In 2020-2021, trials were temporarily halted after it was discovered that excessive vibration and extreme noise were causing injuries to soldiers, including tinnitus and hearing loss in 17. Leaked reports even cast doubt on the program's credibility, with criticism from the House of Commons, Defense Committee calling it deplorable and flawed from the outset. The Modi temporarily withheld a £480 million payment to General Dynamics until the issues were resolved in 2022-2023. Nevertheless, after extensive modifications, including improved suspension, modular armor, and a damping system, the Ajax passed rigorous trials. The vehicle has traveled a distance equivalent to the circumference of the Earth, fired over 20,000 40 mm rounds, and been tested in extreme conditions such as minus 36 degrees Celsius in Sweden. In January 2025, mass production deliveries began to frontline units such as the Household Cavalry Regiment, the Queen's Royal Hussars, and the Royal Lancers. By April 2025, 100 units had been delivered, and this November, more than 165 units were operational, with the first 50 going to the IOC. The Ajax is touted as the world's most advanced medium-armored vehicle, with a displacement of 40 tons, a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, and a range of 500 km. It is equipped with a 40mm CT-40 telescopic cannon, a British-French joint venture, capable of firing on the move, a 7.62mm machine gun, its sensor suite allows target detection up to 5 miles, 8 kilometers, away in all weather, 24 hours a day, with 360-degree vision and full digital connectivity. It has a crew of only three, but can survive for a week without leaving. Its digital systems support spiral development, meaning continuous upgrades without changing the main platform. Ajax is designed for operations in the gray zone or even behind enemy lines, providing an I-Star, intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, reconnaissance advantage. In the Ukraine war, where low-cost drones dominate, 
Ajax remains relevant because its armor is resistant to drone attacks, while its sensors complement the capabilities of UAVs. We're not fighting like Ukraine. We're using a combination of jets, infantry, and artillery," said a military source. Ajax will bolster NATO's eastern flank, ready to deploy for peacekeeping missions or potential confrontations. Ajax production supports four 100 jobs in the UK, with 230 supplier companies and a major factory in Wales. Defense is an engine of economic growth, said Pollard, who is also exploring exports to NATO allies. Complete deliveries are planned for September 2029, with full operating capability, FOC, in 2028-2029. Despite controversy, expensive, delayed, and once questionable, Ajax is now ready to fight and win, Pollard said. The problems of the past are behind us. This is a cutting-edge vehicle recognized by allies and feared by enemies. For the British Army, Ajax is a transformational step towards a modern fleet, increasing lethality tenfold through precision, surveillance, and digital connectivity. With increasingly complex global threats, the arrival of Ajax strengthens the UK's position as a Tier 1 military power. This is not the end, but the beginning of a new era for Britain's armoured forces.